Medic next. Medic is our kind of cleric class, you know. Um, but a bit of kind of bio terrorism style kind of definitely not Krieger from uh, uh, Archer, but heavily inspired by. Um, so they're your medical experts. They've got a D8 hit die because they're quite close. Um, they're going to be doing a lot of wet work. They're going to be getting their hands dirty in combat. So they're not at a serious disadvantage there. Still a fair amount of, of, of simple um, weapons uh, that they're proficient in. Um, but then they're proficient in quite a few tools as well. Um, and while it's not been heavily developed yet, I've certainly got ideas to develop some of the medical side of things so that first aid, healing hit points in combat and stuff, <coughs> excuse me, that's very kind of first aid -y, kind of very quick fix type stuff. Um, whereas if it gets serious enough, I think surgery is going to be quite an important thing, like getting people um, into like trauma surgery and stuff like that. So I want to include quite a bit of that and I want the, the, the medic um, to be the one that has to perform those kind of surgery stuff. So surgeon's tools are definitely going to be a thing. I uh, just haven't developed too much of that yet. Um, in terms of vehicles, just cars, because um, those uh, ambulances will come under cars because they're a type of truck um, still in, within that kind of size bracket. Saving throws are intelligence and wisdom at the moment. Might make that something else because of how they are in combat, but we'll see how that comes out in beta testing. Um... You choose three skills from athletics, infiltration, infotech, medicine, persuasion, and survival. So a nice spread there. Athletics is more about getting to your patient, I think. Medicine, of course. Um, infiltration as well, just helping out in terms of actually being able to be a spy as well as being a medic. Again, just making sure that everyone has at least some combat stuff too. <clears throat> and that kind of thing uh, from all, every single class as well. Uh, and then first aid... Um, is um, actually taken from Bard, I think, maybe. Um, but during a short rest, you can help your allies. Might be a cleric thing. Um, you grant them an extra d6 hit points when they heal up, and that improves as you go up in level as well. And then diagnosis is a bit of an kind of an automatic diagnosis. Um, simple you know, problems, diseases, that kind of thing will be just straight up question, I imagine, for, for, for GMs. Um, otherwise, providing you've got the time to examine them and stuff, you are the one able to make wisdom medicine checks in order to get a proper diagnosis of what's going on. You can also identify the use of poisons, use of toxins, um, depending on their traceability, at the discretion of the game master. Uh, there's quite a lot of kind of like biological and chemical warfare that's really kept under wraps it's an unfortunate truth of, of life that in certain laboratories there are some very, very deadly chemicals kind of out there. And they're very, very hard to trace. Um, there was a case a couple of years ago in the UK. There was a case again of a few years ago in the UK where people were poisoned as part of uh, like a clandestine operation. Um, and it's taken the, the best minds in the field to be able to like diagnose and detect those substances. So that's all part of that too, basically. Vital points um, is a little bit like a sneak attack, but you don't have to have your, um, uh, you have your advantage on the roll. Uh, or actually, I believe I'm taking that out. Actually, you don't have to have advantage on the roll, but you get a D6 bonus damage with your finesse weaponry. So if you're using dex and finesse for your melee attacks, you could add plus 1d6 because you know exactly where to hit you know exactly what's vulnerable that kind of thing the medical specialization is your archetype so you get that a third level like a lot of classes your ability score and equipment upgrades will go up from fourth level as normal so bringing it a little bit into reality again um but the idea here behind resuscitation is a little bit like reviving people or resurrecting people in your normal fantasy games. Uh, and I did a little bit of research into kind of the time that you've got in order to save somebody and that kind of thing. Uh, from fifth level, um, you can gain the ability to resuscitate someone with CPR. Um, if the patient has been dead for less than six minutes, you can make a wisdom medicine check with a DC of 20. 
trying to actually get someone back up using CPR, um, there's actually quite a surprisingly low survival rate. And so the DC is really reflected in that. Uh, if you succeed, you bring them back to life uh, with zero hit points. They're not stable, but you can, and but they must begin making death saving throws. But you can start trying to stabilize them again. Then from sixth level, preventative medicine. Um, when you heal hit points of another character yourself, you can offer them a bonus one d four. There might be some substances, some certain kind of medical gadgets that um, give people extra hit points. Hit points for me are more like adrenaline um, in the spy game. There's net less actual damage going on and more hero points, more uh, determination and like moxie and stuff. So just giving them that boost of adrenaline might actually heal some hit points. Um, and you, uh, as the medic, you can give them extra. <coughs> and then stabilizer from seventh level, you are just better at stabilizing people. Um, when you stabilize them, you go, give them temporary hit points, um, which uh, help them out from uh, attacks against them again. Uh, control metabolism. So because of your own medical knowledge, you have a better understanding of how to deal with poisons and toxins in your own body. So whether that's just keeping calm and slowing down, lowering your heart rate, um, binding off a limb, that kind of thing. You're able to do that as part of this feature. So you add your proficiency bonus to constitution saving throws, avoiding um, those agents uh, acting on your body. Uh, in addition, uh, you grant one ally you can clearly communicate with advantage on their next constitution saving throw. Basically, it's, it's, it's giving them that advantage too. Um, and then Frontier Medic um, is basically using anything you have to hand to be able to heal people. Um, from 14th level, you don't suffer disadvantage or you're not stopped from providing first aid because you don't have the right medical equipment available. Um, providing you have basics like cloth, water, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Lifesaver, starting at 20th level, this is your big hitter for the Medic class. When you'd normally roll one or more dice to restore hit points, you can instead use the highest result possible. I think that was just a straight port from uh, the uh, SRD2. But then medical specializations like doctor, uh, general practice, uh, treatment, condition recovery, so you can help with um, actually uh, taking away some uh, conditions and talented surgery as well all helps you with the actual hands dirty style stuff of the kind of um, medical stuff that you need to work on and then the biochemist is the second that's going to be available um, at uh, Kickstarter and that should be a pretty cool um, archetype for me I think uh, so this is all about working on nerve agents and toxins and poisons and stuff so it's about actually making them, actually using them, um, as well as finding the cure for them and investigating the forensics of scenes too. So there will be forensic kits, there'll be forensic tools available to characters um, and this will get, just give you that extra edge um, when it comes to that. 